मेटेलिक बार 300 mm, 100 mm and 40 mm. So in x direction it is 300. So this I will write it as x and y that is in 100 and in z you have to keep in mind in vertical that is uh, this height it is 40 mm is subjected to a tensile force of 5 kN. So in x direction it is 5 and again it is a tensile in nature. 6 kN tensile that is in y direction that is 6 kN and 4 kN again it is tensile right. So that is in z direction. So the, here they have mentioned along x, y and z direction respectively. So here you have to determine the change in volume of the block. So whatever we applied the load in x, y and z direction due to its volume it will get changed. So that change in volume that we have to find out right. So here they have given the material constant right take E equal to 200 gigapascal and they have given the Poisson's ratio that is 0.25. So for this we have to find out. So first we will write the given data. Okay, so what is the given data? What is the given data? Chala patkan. The dimensions x they have given x distance it is 300 mm y distance they have given it is 100 mm and the z dimension they have given it is 40 mm ok and the load in x direction right down here so load in x direction that is 5 kilo newton right so we will write 5 into 10 raise to 3 newton then load in y direction it is given 6 kilo newton so 6 kilo newton that is equal to 6 into 10 raise to 3 newton and the load in z direction they have given it is 4 kilo newton and that will write 4 into 10 raise to 3 newton right so now again what is the given data additional So, Eng's modulus, it is given 200 GPA, that is 200 into 10 raise to 3 Newton per mm square we will get and the Poisson's ratio, that is mu, it is given 0 0.25 and what we have to find out, volumetric strain EV is equal to that is dV upon V, this we have to find out. ओके लक्ष्य देते का सवाल ना अपन क्या करते हैं ओके सो नाउ ओके सो नाउ व्हाट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट नी सी दी बेसिक इक्वेशन दैट यू हैव टू रिकॉल डीवी अपॉन वी दैट इज़ द वॉल्यूमेट्रिक स्ट्रेन इफ यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट कैन एनीबडी से सिग्मा एक्स plus sigma y plus sigma z upon e and here in bracket 1 minus twice mu right so if you want to find out this volumetric strain and again if you want to find out change in volume then uh, first we will find out volumetric strain so if you want to find out volumetric strain what we need stress in x direction stress in y direction stress in z direction e value they have given in the given data and mu value poison social also they have given means first we have to find out stress in x stress in y and stress in z direction right so we'll start so stress in x direction right so that is the sigma x is equal to load acting in x direction and the area which it is resisting to the deformation 
right so now where is the load in x this is the x direction right just for that we have written and the load is what 5 kilo newton right so we will write how much it is 5 into 10 does to 3 now which area it is adjusting to the deformation this one is it right Barabar hai ka? Yes, sir. Right. So, its width is 100 and depth is 40. So, 100 into 40, then I will get the stress in x direction. How much I will get? One point two five Newton per mm square. This is the stress in x direction. Similarly, I will calculate stress in y direction means load acting in y direction divided by the cross sectional area which is resisting to the deformation. Now, here is the y, what is the load acting in y direction? 6 kN. So, 6 into 10 raised to 3. Now, which is the area it is resisting? Now, this area. This the color, yellow color. Okay, so it is 300 into that is the 40. Okay, so here I will write. So, 300 into 40. So, what is the value we will get? 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Yes, so Newton per mm square that is the stress in y direction. So, similarly stress in z direction that is load applied in z direction divided by the cross sectional area which is resisting to the deformation. Now load in z direction is what? This is the 4 kN. So 4 into 10 raised to 3. Now what is the area? So here the top area, right? So here you can see this. Okay, so that is 300 into 100. So 300 into 100. So therefore, you will get the stress that is 0 0.133 Newton per mm square. Now see, we found out all the stress in x direction, y direction and z direction. So therefore, we will calculate. So volumetric strength dv upon v is equal to sigma x value. Right. So sigma x it is 1.25 plus sigma y value that is 0.5 plus sigma z value it is 0 0.133. So, we kept all these values sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z divided by the E Engs modulus it is they have given 200 into 10 raised to 3 and here in bracket 1 minus twice mu 2 into the mu value it is 0 0.25. Okay. So, in this way we will get the volumetric strain. So, can you calculate the volumetric strain? How much it is? Now, no see unit. the volumetric strain you will get 4.70 into 10 raised to minus 6. As this is the strain, it is the unitless quantity. Now, what we have to find out? They have said change in volume, right? So, here there is a mistake that is change in volume a dv that we have to find out. So, just now we found out the volumetric strain and we need change in volume dv, right? So, I will write here just again once again. So, dv upon v is equal to 4.7 into 10 raised to minus 6. This we got. If I need the change in volume is equal to 4.7 into 10 raised to minus 6 into I take volume towards the right hand side into V. So, if I multiply it by volume, then I will get the volumetric, uh, sorry, change in volume. So, we will calculate the what is the volume. Now, the volume of this the rectangular bar 300 length, 100 mm width and the 40 mm thickness. So, now separately we will calculate. So, volume is equal to 300 into 100 into 40. So, you will get how much? 
Is it right? Right, sir. Yes. So, therefore, change in volume that we will get 4.7 into 10 raised to minus 6 into this volume. This just now we calculated 1, 2. I think uh, the 5 zero should you should get. Sir. Right? Sir, 1, 0, yes. 1 2, 3, 4, 5, and 3, 4, 0, 12. Right? 0, 1, 5, 6, 4. 0, 1, 5, 6, 4. No, just check it. 5 point something you will get. 5 point 6, 4. 5 point 3. Yes. So, this is... Yes. yes, so change in volume you will get, right? So whatever the load we applied in x direction, y direction and in z direction, uh, due to that the volume it is increased. So whatever the uh, positive value you are getting, that is the increase the value. Right? Because see, in x direction again it is tensile, in y that is tensile and in z uh, tensile. In all the direction we are pulling. So, therefore, intermolecular space it will increase and therefore the volume it will increase. So, this much the volume change you got. Okay. Mm -hmm.